Hey everyone, this is Virgo Sewing, bringing you another video on a machine that I have just finished overhauling, which is the Sears Kenmore uh, 148 series uh, sewing machine. And um, if you know, if you've heard or sewn on any of these uh, vintage uh, Sears Kenmore machines, you'll know that they are absolute workhorses. They're fully metal, um, they have all the basic stitch types. Uh, really ideal for uh, everyday sewing and I actually use a very similar machine um, for my uh, alteration and repair work uh, it's just uh, a Kenmore 158 series but they look uh, and do about the same thing uh, this machine is made in Japan so it has that uh, very very high quality uh, Japanese uh, workmanship um, very, very expensive to get a made in Japan machine today, but luckily these were made in the 70s and they were made uh, in the probably hundreds of thousands, probably millions, um, these Japanese machines, and they're all incredible. So I'll show you uh, with this machine. You have a few basic stitch types, um, and you, they go to this arrow here, and I'll just go through them. So now we're on straight and zigzag. Now we're on blind hem. Now we're on multi zigzag. Now we're on this uh, weird, cool sideways zigzag. So it really has most of the basic stitch types that you need for general sewing. And with each one of these uh, stitch types, it has one for uh, knit stretchy fabrics, which you change uh, with this here. So. Uh, I'll show you how this machine runs. Very, very, very smooth. Uh, came to me in really beautiful condition. There are just a couple of little issues with it that is often why people give up on their machine. But um, all it needs is a little bit of attention and the right care, and um, it can be brought back. And that's what's happened here. As you can see, the machine is in beautiful condition. Uh, really not many scratches, just a few little like marks here and there. But um, anyway, here's the machine. Oh, had it on the wrong setting. Something I really found interesting about this machine is just how long the stitch length can be uh, if you so desire. So I'll just show you that here. Just ridiculously long stitch length. And I'll show you the zigzag. All we have to do is just make our seam wider. And we're off to the races. I'll do the multi zigzag. If you're ever repairing the machine and you want to test out all the stitch types, the multi zigzag is usually uh, the best way to know that all of your stitches and cams are in good working order. And it can go really fast. show you the beautiful stitches that she makes and I was telling you about that ridiculous stitch length which is there I'm not sure how well you can see that but here are the stitches that she makes and they're absolutely perfect uh, I have a special love for these types of machines because I think that 
they're just exactly what an everyday sewer needs. Um, it'll last you way longer than anything that is made new, and um, they're very easily serviceable. Uh, you can clean these and oil these yourself. Um, all you need is just one kind of flathead screwdriver to get these two screws off, and um, you can get to this part just by doing that. You can clean and oil. Um, you can just lift up the bottom very easily just for to give it a bit of oil where it needs it every so often depending on how often you sew. Comes with its foot pedal, comes with its carrying case. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say. This is just a great machine and uh, please check out the advertisement. Thank you for watching. Look forward to the next video.